here we have it, folks. The Anglo-Saxon lines, drawn up and ready for battle against the Normans. Here they are, the Normans, in all their mollusk-bothering glory. Their movement trays blending seamlessly into the surroundings. <coughs> yeah. Right, lads. You know what we did last year? Can you, like, do it again? Inspiring stuff from Harold Goldmanson. Baguette et le fromage. Nous avons le support de la pop. Garlic. Uh, something incomprehensibly French from Arnaud. Uh, something about the Pope being on their side. Uh, that sort of thing. Well, the Pope may back the French, but Jesus is English. So the battle is about to commence. The Norman archers kick off proceedings with a volley of arrows launched directly at the Anglo-Saxon lines. Roger John Barry with his merry men return fire with a furious flurry of beanbags. Without further ado, the Normans look to be marching up the field to engage the Anglo-Saxons. Such grace in their movements. The lines have clashed, and here it is, steel against steel. Clatter of wood, the cries of hoot. Tactical Marines at the ready. There is no shelter for those who oppose. William. Victory for the righteous. We are the bringers of death. And there's uh, Tony squaring off with our tall boy. Draca holding the line against Crusade. Def Nasir pushing back against Normanis Northampton. Is that a Roman? Looks like Ross snuck into the battle. You can definitely see a Roman in the lines. Centre along with King Harold Godwinson. Yeah, there he is. There's a bloody Roman in the lines. Who weapon checked him? The, uh, the paintwork, as you can see, um, main colours, ink, and then a final highlight. Very clear, uncharacteristically sunny day at Hastings. Ah! The Normans have called for a withdrawal, tactical of course. Yep, definitely didn't need any tabs on those movement trays. Effortless. Uh, the bit we all love, the Danaxes come out and helicopter at the Norman lines. Oh look, there's me! Yep, giving it large. Daring the Norman lines to come up again. Uh, which they do. Arno leads the Conroy out from the lines. And here comes the might of the Norman cavalry. One miniature at a time. Here 
here they come, sweeping up to the Anglo-Saxon lines. Battering down on the shields. Shields out, feet in. And, oops. Forget you saw that. Oh god, that was the banner as well. That took ages to paint. My eyes have gone square from squinting at that thing. Normans clattering against the Anglo-Saxon defenders. Lots of shouting. The horses can get a little closer this year because, you know, they're not actual animals and won't be <laughs> prone to running away. Engaging up and down the line. Fearsome Norman knights. Mollusk botherers in the extreme. But they too are beaten off. Uh, phrasing. You lead a tactical withdrawal back down the hill, back to the lines. Well, the archers are having another crack at the Anglo-Saxon shields. And once again, Roger John Barry returning fire with his pinpoint accuracy. Oh, he got one! Once again, the Normans are ready to move up again up the hill and re-engage. Uh, there go Crusade. Uh, Normanus Hereford, led by the Anvil. I think that's Wessex with the banner, led by Barty. And we're back at it. Close-ups enjoying the view of my wonderful paint jobs. Um, Thank you to all those who uh, handed in your shield colours. Uh, except for you, Vanaheim, those dank danger doggos were a pain in the ass to paint. The clashing continues. Oh, there's Tony re engaging with Yarl Tallboy, uh, justifying his flamer as Greek fire, no doubt. I do hope you're enjoying the cinnamon topography. Now, once again, Harold and a token Roman holding the lines along with the rest of the league. Uh, Dracobi Order there and Sarge inspiring them to greater efforts. And it has paid off. The Normans once again are retreating. this time from a different angle. Arno once again leading the Conroy to see if the Knights will make a difference. Opting for the wedge formation. Uh, this is where I realised I didn't make the gap in the lines big enough. Hurtling towards the Anglo-Saxon left this time, against the independent groups. They stand firm and brace for the impact of horse flesh. Oh! Ono is retreating! And the Conroy with him. Yeah, this is it. This is where the squishies get theirs. It falls to the Anglo-Saxon left to perform this duty. Here they go. All the people who couldn't afford mail hurtling down the hill after the Conroy. And they have been encircled. And, oh dear, this isn't going to look good. Ooh. Oh dear. Yeah, that's what you get when you try and take on half a ton of horsepower. He tries to run, but all for naught. They formed a shield bar, or a testudo. 
open to debate on that one. Oops, knocked a horse over. Never mind. That was probably Matt Valbrand. The Anglo-Saxons have reformed their lines. And you can see the left is now looking desperately thin. The Anglo-Saxons look to be wavering. It's up to Harold to restore morale. There he is, he's stood out. He's addressing the lines. But he has come within the range of the archers. This could go poorly. The Anglo-Saxons tell him, get back in the line. You're in range of the archers. Kendall, they're taking aim. Oh god, he's got his airpods in. He can't hear them. And this is it. This is where Kendall gets his. Interception! By Goat Ward Armband. And he is summoning the league to form a bodyguard around Harold Godwinson. There you have the Shire Reeve, Guthrum of Norvik, Just Eastern Things, and Ross the Roman joining in to protect the King of England. Very blurry shot there, I apologise. Oh, this is it. This is what we've all been waiting for. The society-wide boar snout. Forming on the King of England, Harold Godwinson. Drakabiorther taking notes and joining in, forming their own mini boar snout. Vanaheim and Ordgar joining in to bolster the middle. Uh, Regia haven't quite decided what they're doing yet. They're uh, they're just as surprised as you are. And they've joined in as well. A Regia boar snout has formed on the right. And the Anglo-Saxons have begun their charge down the hill. Left, Dra led by Draca Biorther, heading, hurtling towards Crusade and Hereford. And the horses of Conroy are spooked and already starting to flee. And the lines meet! Good lord. It's chaos. Conroy don't know what to do, there are horses everywhere. Uh, some of Crusades have started to run, blindly. And there is... Roger John Barry sniping out Normanus Buxton to even up the numbers. Turns to run. Oh, straight up the the back alley. Drakbjord have now clashed with Crusade and the, what remains of Hereford. And their authenticity officers finally taken down Tony. Command! Enemy fire has us pinned! <sighs> told him that tactical dreadnought armour does not belong on the battlefield. While well, the anvil looks to be moving towards the centre. Wessex hold firm against the Vike Borsnout, but Buxton seem to be running away. Regia have finally made lines with Northampton. Oh, the household are out of there, they've had enough. Conroy are fleeing, their horses are now cannot be controlled. There's Toby Dones pushing the wedge of that Borson out through the lines. Oh, there is Ulfruk taking on the Anvil. But we're not at 3k likes yet, so you'll have to wait to see the outcome of that. And there he is, Godmanson squaring down William the Conqueror in one-on-one -on -one combat. <laughs> Victory for Godwinson! The remaining Normans flee without a script to protect them. They are powerless against the might of the Anglo-Saxons. You see, they strike a pose in the centre as the Normans flee the field to register complaints with English heritage about the stunning lack of regard for the script.
there we have it, our victorious Anglo-Saxons. This has been the Battle of Hastings 2020. Thank you for watching.